Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. First to enter the den is a young entrepreneur who wants to bring all schools in Kenya into the digital age. Hello Lions. My name is John Slater. And I'm Deborah. Uh, we are founders of Big Brain Solutions. It has grown to be a software development company. We are based in Eldoret. One of our flagship products is called DigiSchool. And why DigiSchool? We realize that in one way or another when we go to schools, there are um, a number of information channels that are there. And sometimes if a school is not able to manage the information correctly, they may end up passing the information wrongly. So DigiSchool comes in to provide an information and management system. With the busy schedules that parents are having nowadays, they're now able to keep track of the academic performance of their children. Why? Because DigiSchool has a parent module so they can log in and be able to track um, if their child has been attending school, how they're performing academically and um, how the fees are being paid just in case there are errors. So what DigiSchool really does best, especially in the finance part, what we came to realize is schools don't have the financial records correct. Because one time you go, you're told that your child needs to pay this, the other time maybe the bazaar did something wrong. And also for the school owners, how I came to correct this was one school came to me and told me, we have had three bazaars right now, and each one of them goes, they're colluding with parents and the owner of the school is not receiving his real cash. So can you create a system whereby I can track wherever I am? If I want to know what's got in today, what balance is doing class two, who has paid, who has not paid. So with such information, it serves the, the owner of the school with all that. So we are asking for 10% stake for 2 million shillings. Thank you. The Eldoret duo make a confident pitch to the Lions for their school management system aimed at building better collaboration between parents, students and teachers. How many of these systems have you installed so far? So what we do to gain trust, because you go to schools and they don't know you. So we go there, we give it them free for one month. See how it's working. See if it's bringing value to your school, you can pay us. So we have sold one and currently five schools have already finished trying it and they're buying it, and five more still continue trying it. So it's a software SaaS, it's a SaaS software as a service. One is the school buys the software, so we're offering a lifetime license at a discounted price currently for 100,000. So the school will buy a lifetime license, but for regular updates for each year, we, you pay a fee. But what, for, is, what is the AMC? Hmm? Annual maintenance cost. Annual or? maintenance cost for the system. We're putting it very low at 15,000 shillings. So if you, put, if you buy it at 100, you will pay 15,000 AMC. And what's the other model? The other model is the subscription model. It's whereby the school doesn't pay a shilling. The only person who pays, we transfer that cost to the parents. You'll pay 33 shillings every month. How many schools are you targeting like in the next year or so? Our major market is the private schools. And as of 2013, there are over 15,000 private schools. So just this year, we're looking to be in 10 schools. Assured, for next year, we're looking to be in 42 schools. So you already have it running. What do you need the 2 million shillings for? We need the 2 million shillings for because the idea is not patentable because the other school management system. So we are looking for more development, but we can scale very fast. We need that for first employ one more engineer. Then the other thing is for marketing. We really need marketing. My issue is there's a lot of this stuff is free online. And some schools even get, give it to us free as parents. So what makes you so special and so different? I know the free one you're talking about. There is the open MIS. So that software is free, but that software is geared for the American market. Then the other thing is, like you as a school, uh, you, the way you're handling things may be different. So we integrated the system to accommodate that. So there are other problems with the free ones that those support issues. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. So I cleared school in 2014. In the first year, we did sales of 400,000. That was, DigiSchool wasn't there, just web application, consulting, and websites. We're not just investing in DigiSchool, we have investing in big brains. We have other products which are on the line. So how much have you spent to date developing the, the program? We, because I'm developing it by my own, I don't put that expense. So, but physically, the money we have used on marketing, and going out, it's around 300,000. Can I ask about the one school that's currently using it? What kind of school is that? The school that is using, it's in Eldoret. They, they didn't do the parents module. They bought the they, license. They bought the license. 
So for the parents, they're using the bulk SMS module. So for, yeah, for parents, because since they're interior, because guys who can't afford smartphones, so just with a click of a button, the system will send all parents the results for the exam which they've currently done, position. and the, the position in class and overall, the and the fee balance as of that time. The entrepreneurs stand strong against the barrage of questions from the lions. But will they be able to convince them that their valuation makes sense? So 10%, 2 million, that means you're valuing your company at 20 million. The first thing is, it's more of intellectual than physical assets. And based on also the market, we think that's a good estimation. So John, I, um, you know, I think you're really sort of enthusiastic and passionate about what you do. And so I get that energy from you. I'm not feeling it about the product. So this one school you've signed up, is only using the admin side. For this business to scale significantly and to have you know, tens of thousands of, of users is on the subscription side, and I'm not getting how I can see that work. So for that reason, I'm out, and I can't invest at this point, but I do wish you all the best, and hopefully you know, there'll be a reason for all of us to, to sign up for DigiSchool in the future. Uh, for me, guys, I, I still have a challenge trying to understand what's the spe special angle you have with the, with the, with the product. It's very hard to convince me and it will scale. Um, so for that reason, I'm out. Yeah, I think it's missing that wow factor. You know, there's that one thing like the kick that people will be like, okay, no, this is like new age. But it's a great product. Um, I don't agree with your valuation. I don't understand what you need the two million shillings for. I think for now I'd have to say I'm out, but I wish you all the best. Thank you. I feel there was you know, as you look at scaling this, I think there might be even a requirement to provide educational content. So I'm seeing a bit of a challenge as to how this business will have a sustainable future without getting into a very competitive space. So for that reason, I'm going to have to say I'm out, but I wish you all the best. Four lions pull out in quick succession. Our entrepreneurs' hopes now lie solely with tech-savvy Chris Senanu. Look, I, I hear you. And typically, I invest in the person, the entrepreneur. DigiSchool is one of the stuff that you have. I can offer you the two million. But for 45%. I see a future for big brains. I think we can work together. Can we counter? Of course, you can attempt to counter. <laughs> We really like, can you bring it to 35%, please? Actually, we came here for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you are wasting their time. No, no, no. Just say that again. <laughs> we, we came here for you. I stalked you. We came here for you. <laughs> and I know you understand my vision. I'll be nice. OK. Done deal. <laughs> Our entrepreneurs are delighted that Chris Senanu accepted their counter offer and walk away with a two million shilling investment. All the other lions were pulling out, but we came here for Chris. And when he said yes, though he didn't give us the valuation we want, it's not about the valuation. We really want to work with him because you know he can take big brains places. So a stalker got uh, got some <laughs> rewards. <laughs> and look. So sometimes stalking works. He understands the passion I have. And he knows that if, even if DigiSchool doesn't scale to what you're thinking to scale, we'll come up with something else. I think DigiSchool, you might sell a couple of a hundred or so, but I, I think it's probably more what we could do with him. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.